Well, after the fiasco yesterday, I'll go into that later, but uh, right now we're pulling in to one of the, I don't know, uh, least used entrance to Yellowstone. Uh, most, of that, most people come from the east or from the west or from the south. This is actually coming in from the northeast, and it's called the Beartooth Highway. It's quite a road, and uh, you'll see what I mean when we get up here. Unlike the uh, highway to the road to the sun, or whatever you want to call it, over a glacier yesterday, uh, this high, this has its uh, it has its uh, specialty uh, uniqueness, I guess, is the way it uh, it certainly climbs about as high. Not quite as sheer, but you're up above the clouds in some places. This, uh, as I said, it's called the Baratooth Highway. Uh, it's Route uh, 212, which runs southwest out of Billings, Montana. Well, yeah, I see some snow up there. There's a glacier up there on one mountain. It take long to get to it. got started now already getting some awesome views. We're definitely going to be up in the clouds today. All these mountains that we're going to be up on top of, they all are going to be covered with clouds. Very low today. Starting the switchbacks. More snow in these mountains or uh, glaciers look like than was in uh, Glacier, which is farther up north. I actually said no, uh, it sets up on the Canadian line and this is uh, actually in the bottom part of Montana and the top part of Wyoming. It's actually the first time I've been up the Bear Tooth. I came down the Bear Tooth probably uh, back in like, I want to say it was like 80. 85, 84, somewhere along there. You see the road way up above us there on the hill. experienced a lot of uh, slides this year. They're doing an awful lot of construction on the uh, hills on the mountain side of the road all the way up through here. This little pull off here. Walk over here and let you guys see just how sheer this is and there's nothing but keeping you from going over the side. That's where we came up. You can see it disappears into the clouds up there. And that's the road we're going to be going up to there. Up on top. We get turned around here.
get some seat belts on, especially on this road, I would say. Not that it helped much, probably. Uh, all right, we're off. Looks like they had a huge slide up here, or up here. Either that or the snow melt really washed a ton of the side of the mountain down, really grooved it. Come down. the sheer beauty. Awesome. What a canyon. That water really running down there. Okay, if we can get out of here without getting hit from traffic coming in or going out, we'd be in good shape. elevation side we're 9,100 9, feet right now 9,190 so we get back on the road here with these cars coming down over the hill here we'll try to get out of here in a hurry Just for what it's worth, the uh, uh, best I, re I can remember a lot, my last trip where I actually was coming down this, if you're scared of heights, it is a lot better going down than it is coming up, believe me. disappearing below us. Driving in the clouds. <laughs> We're getting up pretty close to the summit now. down the back side uh, is a lot mild. Pretty, it's really pretty mild. Nothing like coming up before we just went through. Uh, we're still a little ways from Yellowstone. This, uh, going through the park entrance for, I don't know, 20, 30 miles at least, I would say. I uh, miss, missed this entrance here. We're going to go in here to this pool.
snowpack left up here. This is part of Yellowstone most people never get to see. They tour the park and never travel this highway. It's unbelievable. Cold too. About 47 degrees. Alright. Let's see if we can get up out of here. There was some pretty bad ruts coming in here. Get in the sand. This was the bad part. Would not want to bring a car down there. now left Montana and entered Wyoming right up here on top of the mountain climbing to the top. Can't see down because of the clouds. I don't know how high they're up, but I can tell you it's a sheer cliff right there. through clouds but it's another thing to drive a car through clouds. Funny the road goes out there about a hundred yards and just disappears. Still got some ice pack right here. I pull off, but I don't know what you're going to see with clouds. Turn my lights on, I guess. Sunlight, God, it's beautiful. Gee, Merry Christmas, good Lord. The old song that Elvis sings, How Great Thou Art. Bend, you 
can see a mountain straight out in front of us. Oh, it's quite a ways out there, but you know why it's called the Bear Tooth because the top of it just looks like just a big, huge Bear Tooth. It's just shaped exactly like a Bear Tooth with a solid rock and just as sheer as could be. have all that covered up today. See those glaciers over there, the snowpack, whatever you're going to call it, left. It's a beautiful little lake down here on the left hand side too. I think my temperature on the car says it's 47 up here. August. The beginning of August on this. 47 degrees. About you, but I just can't see hard anywhere right now. There it is, clearing up a little bit. Climbing. I think I'm going about 10 miles an hour right now. Just kind of see. It's like driving in uh, up there in California, Tule Frog. They say 20 miles an hour around these curves, but you can't do much more than 5 or 10 miles with this fog, or clouds, or whatever you want to call it. We're uh, on the back side now, headed down. more patches of snow over here on the back side than what's coming up.
beautiful. A little lake down there. Snow runoff. When I first came, the first time through here, like I said, I came from this side up and then over the back side that we just came over, came up rather. And I remember saying coming up through here, the road's windy, but there's nothing, you know, uh, horrifying about it. And uh, I got up on top and I thought, didn't think that much of it. But uh, once I started down the uh, Montana side, man alive, it, uh, you see what everybody talks about then. Quite a road. Right up there with the road to the sun, I think those are two highways everybody should at least drive once in their life. It's just the sheer uh, beauty and uh, it's just unbelievable. 